Hi guys, um, it's me, I'm here, I'm back, um, um, hello to everybody, um, I know I've not been around for a while, I think my last vlog was September, and it's now January the 3rd, so I'm a little bit bad, but very busy, after the vlogging, the last vlog anyway, um, kids are back to school, and, uh, Life just got hectic really. Christmas, birthdays, both the kids' birthdays were in December and then Christmas and New Year and today's the first day. If it's if you listen, quiet. <laughs> um, Maria's with her mum today and Jack is with Nan and Gwendad. And they're both out for sleepovers. So best friend Leanne's come in for dinner and drinks and games and just chill out. excuse me. <coughs> That's me. If you excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold. Um, yeah, so first day of normality, back to proper normality on Monday. Back into the school routine, which I cannot wait for. Because I like routine. I don't like not getting up on time and not having anything to do and having to entertain the children. God, just entertain yourselves. I can't barely entertain myself, let alone two children. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. So, as I said, I'm just here to say hi um, and to explain to you 2014 for stuffy stuff. Um, I suppose, I don't really have resolutions for this year. No, no, I do have things that I want to do, but I wouldn't call them resolutions. Uh, the same sort of things, really, like try not to stress as much. I think that was something that Emma from me at the Millard said was about stressing, and I think I do stress quite a bit. and. I let things get on top of me when I shouldn't do, or and things like that. So that's something I'd like. I'd like to be a bit more chilled out in 2014. Um, I'd like to spend more time with my friends and family, just in general, and like especially friends, like going out for not lunch but just a coffee. And um, I made more friends through school, not my school, obviously, through Jack starting school and some of the mums there. So that's good. We went out on a Christmas night out. In, on the, what was it, the 19th of December which was really fun but yeah just being a bit more social I guess is the word because I don't get a lot of time to myself which isn't a bad thing, I'm a mum, you don't get a lot of time to yourself but making the most of the time I do have um, that's kind of it but then on the same sort of theme of making the most of the time I have um, it's something I have put a blog post about the other day um, and that is kind of my main aim for 2014, is um, getting fit. Now, I do mean getting fit, and I mean getting healthy. And along with that comes losing weight. And I know that, and everyone knows that. But <clears throat> for me, the main reason I'm going to be doing what I'm doing is to feel healthier and fitter. And, you know, if that means getting smaller and getting light heart than fair dues. You know, I'm sure it'll be good for me, but I just want to, I think I put it in my blog post, I'm not doing this to become skinny, I'm doing this to make myself feel better health-wise. If it means losing weight, then great, I think that's, you know, it can only be good, really, for me. Um, so, um, leading on from that, I then, for Christmas, um, Mike and I bought ourselves a juicer, because I'd been looking online on YouTube and watching videos about people that have done the juice fasting or feasting or juice cleansing or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it <clears throat> it's basically you kind of detox, it's more of a detox which is what I want to do and it's you do it for a certain number of days ideally you do this fasting um, and although it's called fasting you are technically fasting because you're not eating but you are drinking fresh fruit and vegetable juices now, I took me, I, you know, I did look at this for a good couple of weeks, I researched it, I looked into juices, I looked into health stuff, um, and just thought, this is kind of the best thing for me. Um, I've explained it to a few friends, I'm kind of an all or nothing person, because everyone's, I, I told some of my friends about it, <coughs> excuse me, and they said, well, why don't you just eat healthier? But, I said, it's not as easy as that, because... You know, if I'm having a chicken breast and I say, oh, well, let's have some a jacket potato or some boiled potatoes, and then I think to myself, it gets nearer the time and I'm like, oh, I just fancy a jacket potato. 
I'll just do it, that's fine. And then I'll do a jacket potato, and then I'll whack a bit of butter and some cheese on it. It defeats the whole point of having vegetables or potatoes. <coughs> and my mentality is like, oh, it's fine. I'm just, it's, it's fine. But it's not. But, so what I mean by all or nothing is, I'm eating everything, or I'm eating nothing, in a way. So I can't just change little bits. I need to radically change the way I think and eat food. Um, and thinking about what I'm putting into my body. And ever since sort of I've watched videos and learnt what a juicer does and what it's going to do for my body, every time I eat food now, afterwards I think to myself, oh, I can't believe I just put that in my body. Even if it is something healthy like chicken and rice, I just still think, oh, I feel all clogged up. So I decided it was the best thing for me. So I spoke to Mark and I said, look, I want to buy a juicer. I did this just before Christmas. Well, it was about November, I think it was. And I said to Mark, look, I want to get a juicer. I want to feel healthier in myself. I want to exercise more, which I can do because I have the time because the children are now both at school full time. I mean, I dropped Jack off and I could be home by nine. So I can go for a walk. I can do exercise, anything I want which I'll come on to in a minute. So yeah, so we looked into juices, he had a good look as well because he likes to look at, when we're buying something, he likes to look at reviews and understand what we're buying and know that we're getting the best for our money. Um, um, and we went for Amazon because I had, a, I actually had a £25 voucher left from my birthday, which I hadn't used up yet. Um, and we ended up going for a Philips, and um, the picture of it is in my blog, which I'll link below. But um, it's the, I think it's the HR1861, and it's a whole fruit juicer. And I don't think there's much else to say. Um, yeah, it kind of was the best one I think for us in our price range. It was reduced from I think 120 down to 74.99, but then I had a 25 pound voucher, so it was only what 49.99. Um, and then we kind of bought it for ourselves as a Christmas present, which is a bit sad. I know some people, but um, that's what we wanted, you know. And when I told Mike about it originally, he kind of was like, well, I'll do it with you. Because he wants to lose weight as well and get healthy. <clears throat> now he's sort of getting better after his operation. He's getting all the muscle back. He needs to start, start exercising. So this can only help, really, and help him feel better. Um, yeah, so we did that, and then that was our present. And every day... <clears throat> what's the day? Yeah, today's the third. And every day since buying it, I've had at least one juice a day. So far, and it's so much fun. <laughs> Just you put the stuff in and you juice it and it's yummy. But yeah, we, I mean, we've just been experimenting really with different fruit and vegetables. What have we had? I mean, we've done fruits like this morning. I did an apple, orange, pineapple, <coughs> peach, and a lime. And it was yummy, and the kids even liked it. And it's nice because they had some too. Um, but we use all different things. And then vegetables. I did one the other day that had so many vegetables in it had spinach, apple, because that's always good, um, carrot, like bell pepper. Um, and some ginger in it, and courgette in it, and it was just yummy, and it just felt good drinking it. Some of them taste a little bit weird. What did we have? We had one before that was like celery, beets, and carrots and bits, but you could really taste the celery, and I think that really put Mike off as well as much as me. But it's good for him because he doesn't, he's not a veg fan, let's put it that way. He eats fruit, he's not too bad at fruit, but veg, no. So this is a really good way, like the spinach ones I've found are really nice. I really enjoyed them. But we don't eat spinach normally. I, I don't think I've ever bought spinach. So now buying massive 200 gram packs and just whacking it, not obviously all of it, but a nice handful of it in the juice. And the ginger's really nice. And we, we've got lemons and limes. We've been using nectarines. And it's really kind of, I feel better even just having one a day. So um, with the um, juicer, we, <coughs> excuse me, we actually got this book, which is the um, Jason Vale Juice Master just basically a good recipe book. I mean he does other books, he does, um, there's one called Seven Pounds in Seven Days which it does what it says on the tin, you supposedly you stick to a certain diet and, it, and you lose seven pounds in seven days which can only be good. But this is really good, I mean it's got different, let's show you, that's pretty much like the juicer we've got, he's the Philip, he uses Philips as well because obviously this came with it so he's kind of not endorsed it but there's all different sections in it about different things and there's healthy stuff and stuff for kids to get them into it and there is a detox plan which I'm going to look at um, maybe doing as one of my things oh, where's it gone? and it, it's good because it talks you through about 10 things about doing the detox and then there's an actual shopping list of things that you need during the detox and a, plan, a proper like meal plan which I think is good but um, it's kind of I think I've been reading the recipes and I think it just depends on what you like. I mean, 
if you follow the recipes but you don't like wine, it might put you off a bit. So I'm just thinking, just juice it and drink it. And we'll just make it up as we go along. Um, it also does talk about smoothies, because they're really um, good at using, what's it called, live, that's it, low fat live yoghurt. Because it's very, it's like 98% fat free and other stuff. But there's loads of videos about him on, he's got his own YouTube channel and everything, but like this is so very good, this one. And it's, you juice the pineapple, and then you do need a blender as well, but then you say blender, it's a smoothie maker, whatever you want, there's no difference. So you, you if you're making smoothies, you make them in the blender, but you just juice any fruits to start with. Like this, you just juice the pineapple, and then it's got blackberries and blueberries and yoghurt in it. And then you just blend it all in, in blender, and then over ice, and it's supposed to be really nice. I think I'm going to stick to the juices. I'm not too keen on smoothies, really, or I'm not like milkshakes and things like that I don't really like. So, um, but so far, so good. So, my plan, okay, hang on, let's go back. Exercise then, obviously, I'm not just going to fast, I'm going to be more active. For Christmas, I also bought myself a bike. Um, I got some vouchers for Halfords for Christmas, and I put towards, I bought a new bike. Um, and a helmet and gloves and a bigger seat for my big bum. Um, but yeah, I had a little practice on it, it's pretty good. Me and Mike are hopefully going to go out tomorrow while the kids aren't here for a little ride because we want to kind of go out more, well I want to do more during the week so my thought is drop Jack at school, come back, get the bike, go for a ride. You know, an hour, two hours. I've got between nine and half two pretty much to do what I want and exercise and as long as I've got nothing else to do. You know, and I need to make the most of that time and while the kids are at school and I'm not working, to get myself fit and feel better. So that is my plan. I'm walking as well, even just walk him to school and then do a walk and then come home. And you know, I've got plenty of, I've got the dog, but I doubt is she, she was here. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to bother taking a cycling because I don't think she'll like the bike. And walking, the, the route I've got planned, which is a mile long, plus going to the school. So from here to the school is three quarters of a mile. And then it's like a mile loop that I plan to do. I don't think she'll last. She barely lasts to score back, which is a mile and a half. So, um, I don't think I will be taking her. I'll maybe take her to do the school run and back again, but yeah, it might be too much for her. So, um, I invested, not invested, I went to Asda yesterday and bought some jogging bottoms and some trainers. The only trainers I have are these things. Which are slip on men's three pound from Primark, which I'll go in actually on the bottom already. Um, and I can't really cycle in them, let alone walk. But I have got some. I did get some good boots in Aldi's, funny enough, for fifteen ninety nine. Some nice men's snow boots. So they'll be like my walking boots, and then my trainers that I bought from Asda. I think were eight pound, and they'll be like my cycling shoes, so that I've got proper trainers and hard bottoms on them. So yeah, that is. That's kind of my schedule. I, I'm not planned. I'm not doing like a cycle on a Monday, walk on a Tuesday. You know, it's just going to be how I feel that day and what the weather's like. If it's a bit rainy, I'll cycle because I feel a bit better, I think. And if it's a bit nicer, I'll walk. Um, I'll do little walks. I'll do long walks. It'll be really good. We're getting in a bike rack for the car so we can all go, the four of us. Mike needs to just fix the brakes on Maria's bike this weekend and hopefully then next weekend when the children are home again. We can go somewhere if it's not raining um, too much. Um, we'll go somewhere and go for a nice bike ride, all the four of us. It'll be good exercise and time for us to spend together. And I just only think this is a positive. I can't, you know, I've had people say to me, oh, are you sure? But yes, I am. You know, I think we're going to start out doing three day juices. It's apparently three, like the third day is the hardest. So I think me and Mike need to do a couple of three day ones. So maybe next week we'll do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday the following week. Obviously eating healthily the rest of the time, you know, chicken and trying to eat as much vegetables as we can, but not doing the extreme, like, oh, we have three days of juicing, we'll have a Chinese takeaway the next night. That's, you know, I want to cut out takeaways, I want to cut out fast food, I want to cut out frying things and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm kind of, I'm mentally ready for it. Like, everyone says, oh, you know, it's going to be hard. I'm like, no, because I want to do it. There's, you know, I've dieted before and it's not worked, and I just, I'm hoping this will at least help me get a little bit healthier um, and lose some weight. We've invested in some decent scales, like some proper electronic scales, um, which seem quite good. What else? 
Oh, that's it really, just constantly buying vegetables and fruit, which is um, weird, but good. So, um, that is my main plan for 2014, and all the other stuff is hopefully coming along with it. If I feel healthy, I'll, I'll be able to do more and see my friends more and be more active and just be happy really. That's my plan for 2014. Just be happy. Easy as that. <laughs> um, and I believe we are doing this through Twitter, but I'm joining with a few other bloggers um, uh, under the hashtag commit to get fit because that's it, I'm committing. I want to commit the rest of my life to being more fitter and healthier and happier. Um, and that starts now. Well, Monday. <laughs> um, so if you want to join us, if you've, you know, me and a couple of others that we're doing sort of weekly, I'm going to be doing weekly updates here. Probably, I'm going to try and do it on a Sunday, it's probably the best day. I don't know. Once a week I will have um, a week, maybe a Monday actually, because then it goes from like Monday and then I can film on a Sunday and then it'll be up on a Monday. Um, but I just sort of an update on how my week's gone and what I've done and how I feel, you know, potentially how much weight I've lost. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys and, you know, if, you, if you're if you doing anything, let me know. Um, I'll put all my links in the description below. Let me know if you're doing anything on your blog, if you're, um, you've got a YouTube channel and you're doing something like this, or if you've done a juice fast, or if you haven't and you want any more questions or anything like that, just email me or, or, or send me a message on Twitter or Facebook um, and we'll have a little chat. But um, I'm excited to get started to be honest. I've got a last weekend this weekend of being not bad but eating normally as we normally do. Say my friend's coming tonight and we're having fajitas and some wine. But yeah, I'll try and cut out things like that in the new year. Well, next week. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, this that's me. Hope you're all well. Um, thank you for watching this. And say, so if you've got any questions or you just want to chat, comment below or message me or Twitter or Facebook, Instagram, I'm always on there. Bring up pictures of my juices. If you want to see all my juices, have a look on Instagram. I usually post a picture on there. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and I'll see you next week. Bye.